so i have already kind of done this video before i think it was in 2020 when i was in lockdown i did a how to look bomb in your driver's license passport kind of photo and today i'm actually going to get a passport photo so basically i have some travel plans coming up and i was going to like apply for like this form blah 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 and last time i checked like my passport was like fine it was good but like it wasn't expired and then i'm starting to put in my passport details and it gets to issue date and i put it in like 2015 and expiry date i put it in 2021 and it's 2022 so i was like oh what a drainer <sighs> i feel like when stuff like this happens it's just such a literal drainer i don't know how else to say that so yes today i have to actually make myself look cute <laughs> because I'm getting a passport photo. Now, the last time I got my passport photo, I don't even know if I'll show you guys my passport photo because it's really freaking concerning. I remember I was like getting ready and I was in a rush, of course, and I was like 15, 14, and I was crying that morning. Like I had a mental breakdown. I don't remember what for. And so like my face is like all kind of puffy in the photo and it's just like, <laughs> it's a bit funny. I wish I remembered why I was upset. If this photo doesn't turn out good, I failed. Hey everyone, so today I'm sorry, but I'm going to do a little bit of an interruption in this video because today's video is sponsored by my all-time favorite, Casetify. Casetify! I love Casetify because I have been using them for maybe like years now and they have always kept my phone very safe and looking cute. So I'm going to show you guys what cases I got this month and I'm so excited because I'm literally obsessed. Casetify! Adrian. Okay, so this is the case. I've been using this for a while. This is like my favorite. It's like a black mirrored case. The case. And I've customized it to say Luge. Pink writing. And then these two I haven't used yet, but you know what? I think I'm gonna change it today because this one's really cute. But this one is a bit more so. This is like a Kama Sutra kind of, I don't even know if that's a word. Case, see-through, very cute, very sturdy. And then this is Adrian's case. I gave this to him. It's like this Renaissance kind of vibe. And I got it for him because it matches his tattoo. A shadow baby. And then this one is so cute. It's freaking sushi cats. I don't know who came up with this, but that is so cute. I'm literally going to use that. I don't know why I haven't used it. So I got two different types of cases today. These are impact cases. And then these are ultra impact cases. And you can tell the difference because these have little bumps on the side. And Casetify cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. And they're also compatible with 5G and wireless charging, which is good because my car has wireless charging. So Right. So these cases have Keytech 2.0 technology and they are drop test approved for drops up to 9.8 feet. I don't think anyone's that tall, so that is great. So quickly, just a little more information about Keytech. So basically the cases have a shock dispersing material which lines the inside of the case bumper, which protects all four corners. And honestly, it does not sacrifice the freaking style because you can't even really see the little bumps, but it is still so cute. I love how the cases are so protective and not bulky. I think that's really important. And yes, as I said, they have endless print options, endless customizable options. So they are insanely amazing. And and they keep you safe. So they are 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous, which I think is really important. And that is why I stand for this brand because they are just the best of the best. And phones can get really germy. So they feature an antimicrobial coating that keeps your case germ-free, which kills 99% of germs. So I'm going to do a drop test now. Okay, so I'm going to be dropping my phone with the Sushi Cat case. It's just literally so cute. But yeah, um, this is the case and my phone before, as you can see, no imperfections at all. It's not cracked. Let's see if it stays that way. Okay, I'm gonna drop it from like head height. Hit the wall a bit. Okay, so I'm damaged. All good. All right, now I'm going to drop it. This might be around nine feet, I'm not gonna lie. Hang on. Adrian's this tall. <laughs> Why'd you get skin? Okay, from the roof, from the roof. And it is perfectly fine. So yes, as you can tell, they are very durable. So you guys can go to casefy.com forward slash Leah to save 
15% off your next purchase. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to click the link and let's yeah. get on with the video. Let's get into the freaking makeup. Okay, so I want to look glowy, but not too glowy. I'm really scared because these type of photos, they're like one shot. Like you have to look good in the one shot. So like, I want to be glowy, but not look like shiny so i'm putting on some of this glow recipe plump plump hyaluronic cream but yes i'm quite nervous i was like trying to pose in the mirror before like all right now moving on to these two primers starting with the steel of one step correct i probably shouldn't be using too much primer and all that i have been living by the saying less is more so i'm really trying to achieve that less is more look I'm adding some of the wonder glow by charlotte tilbury and i feel like the three products that i have just used create like a gorgeous base like every single product has like something different that i like so why not use them all together all right so starting off with brows the dip brow and i definitely don't want my eyebrows to be too thick and honestly i don't know if you guys know but back in the day i used to be a mugshot queen you know you're probably like did you get arrested? Like, what are you saying? No, I used to take Instagram photos that were mugshot style. And that's how, like, I started getting followers because one of the photos, like, blew up. And then I just kept on taking, like, mugshot kind of photos. So maybe it's time to bring back headshot Leo. All right, I'm going to extend the tail of my brow. I'm just brushing. Oh, there's a mosquito. Oh, my God getting bitten last night and i'm like on edge like every little thing that touches me like my hair i'm like is it a mosquito i'm carving out my brows i'm being really harsh on myself and i have really high expectations for myself and i'm telling you my photo will probably turn out horrid because of this. i'm probably gonna look back and be like ugh my photo's so cringe, like when I'm older. But you know what? I'm really proud of this one photo that I got when I was 18, my driver's license photo. And I look so cute in it. I did my makeup and I did the test and then I passed and I took the photo and I was like, and it was really cute. Probably the only like photos that I've, like apart from the photos that I've taken, like, cause there's multiple to choose from, but the only like mugshot kind of photos that I've liked that aren't horrifically horrible have been my driver's license photo when I was 18 and my year 12 photo from high school when I was 18. So I feel like 18 was my like, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie. My year 12 photo was probably the best photo of me ever taken. And it was a one shot wonder. I don't know how. I'm literally so proud of that photo. And then like my uni photo. <laughs> That sounded like a goat. <laughs> I was trying to like gag. My uni photo, horrid. Every other school photo in my history, horrid. Every other freaking photo, horrible. So at least I have two good ones and I can be like, yeah, I did that. Let's make it a third today. Oh my God, Kylie Jenner had a baby. I just got a notification. <laughs> Stop it, you guys. Oh my God. I li literally, last night, I swear to God, last night in bed, I'm like, I reckon Kylie will announce that she's had her baby, like, very soon. And it happened today. And I think she had a boy because the caption was, um, a blue love heart and everyone's commenting blue love hearts. And the baby was born on the second, on the two of the two, two of the two, two. How? I knew it was going to be a boy. Yeah. All right, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do my skin first. So this foundation is a bit dark for me, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury foundation in the shade nine. And I'm just taking one pump of that and blending it on the dark areas of my face. I'm just trying to really blend that out. And then just to kind of like brighten up areas and taking banish stick. I'm just trying to like blend in the darker foundation that I just used with the rest of my face. It's a bit more seamless. And not as harsh. How did she have her baby on the 22nd of February? If it's like the 8th of February today. What? She said two of the 20... Second of the 22... Does she mean two? Second of the... Second? Oh, second of the second. I'm just confusing myself. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to highlight as well as contour. Oh my God, why am I like not feeling cute at all? This is a disaster. I'm gonna again contour with this concealer. I'm blending that all in. Oh, I'm getting stressed. No need to fear. Oh, 
be okay, my dear. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of liquid blush on my face to just start the blushing process. Okay, like everything's blended okay. I'm going to set my face. I'm only taking a little bit of powder and I'm just kind of pressing that everywhere on my face just to really set it all in. Right, I'm now just contouring my face because we really look snatched from the front. I'm just blending that like up my forehead. And this not only like snatches your face, but it just bronzes up your face like really nicely. I'm now going to blush, taking like all of the colors. Ooh. A bit of that on the sides of my nose and on my eyelids just like blending it a little bit and now it's time for the most important part which is nose contour now nose contour has to be perfect when you're getting a photo like this so i'm just creating two really thin lines on the sides of my nose and then just slowly blending them out and blending it up underneath my eyebrow on my eyelid space and just blend 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 and then i'll take some of this and put it on my eyelid Oh, that's so cute. Kylie had a baby. Did she? Yeah. Is this the weather? No, I think it's a boy and it was born on the 2nd of the 2nd of the 2nd. Oh. Mm -hmm. Bro, I seen you loop. We're getting boutique. This is sexy. Whoa. Okay, cute. Love. Yeah. I'm not licking okay. that disgusting sh Get away. It, no, I don't want to lick that. Lick it, I don't freak. want to lick it. Why are you licking it? That's what you do, it tastes no, salute. It's not. You're not what, supposed what's the point of it being flavored then? You're not supposed to taste it. What? Anyways, I'm just taking some of the same shade that I use for the nose contour and putting that underneath my eyes. <gasps> Thank you. Got your food? No, thanks. Thank you. Anyways, I'm taking that nose contour shade and I'm kind of blending that up onto my eye to create like a natural, like elongated eye look. I feel like when you do makeup like this, it's all about how like you manipulate the shadows of your face. All right, now I'm going to go over my natural freckles and spots with Just different shades from the contour palette and dotting them on my face. Give me that bubble. All right, now to blend out all the freckles, I will be taking this and <laughs> however little is left of this reverse contour palette by KVD Vegan Beauty. I'm just popping that on the sides of my nose. Now it might look a little bit intense, but I really want the sides of my nose and under my eyes to be really flawless. In the middle of my forehead and put like quite a bit on the creases of your nose folds. So look at airbrush in real life. All right, I don't know whether or not I want to do eyeliner. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. I always like to curl my lashes before I do anything else because I feel like if you curl your lashes after you've done like eyeshadow or eyeliner, like the base of the curler can really stuff up your makeup. Right, I'm sorry, I need to put this here so I can see directly in front of me. But yeah, I just really want a thin wing. I think they look cute. They're very tiny little wings, but I do like them. Before I move on, I'm gonna spray my face. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay, now I'm going to highlight. Now I'm taking the lighter highlighter and I am putting that in places where I really want to brighten, such as my inner eye corners, which I love to brighten to the gods. I think it gives a really like pretty goddess kind of look, especially if you bring it down under the front half of your waterline there. And then just blend it up slightly under the front of your And then on the tips of my eyebrows, of course, on my upper lip and my nose. And now I'm gonna do my lashes with the Caution Lash Extreme Mascara. My lashes need to be huge, you guys. Like so. Okay, so I'm trying to do lips. I've unfortunately lost my favorite lip liner. I have to use this one, which for some reason only sometimes shows up pigmented and it's breaking. Oh God. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why my lips look purple. I'm going to try and find another lip liner. Okay, so I found my favorite lip liner. It was in one of my handbags. I'm just going over that one. <sighs> and the border security, they're going to be like, This girl has lips. Why are your lips? 
I'm gonna have to go and glam every time I go to the airport. Right, I'm gonna blend out that lip liner. I don't know if I like the shade of the lipstick, it might be a bit too white. I'm just gonna go around the borders again for the lip liner. Here, like this. <gasps> Am I ready? <coughs> oh! I think I should have a little inner eye corner. Oh, this might be a mistake. But when I say tiny, I mean like tiny. <sighs> Do I like it? Yes, I like it. Okay, so I think I'm done with my makeup. Now I have to go. I have to go like just make sure my hair is like completely straight and then go to the shops, get this freaking photo before the shop shut. I don't even know what time it is. I'm gonna practice. Do I have like my hair straight like this? Or do I have like one hair behind? I don't know. It'll be cute. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm really nervous. I hope the photo turns out good, but Let's go get the photo done. Ooh, ooh, ah, yeah. Okay, let's go. This way? Yeah. Okay, you guys, so I went and got my photo. I don't know how I feel. I feel like I look a bit angry. I look a bit mad, but she's still cute. I was like, oh my God, he didn't take the photo with flash. So I was freaking out. I'm like, it's gonna be bad, but like, background so white it actually turned out pretty cute so i'm happy but i can't actually get the passport because i didn't fill out the form online i don't know i'm so backwards with everything but yeah i'm happy and now i'm just gonna go enjoy my day and tomorrow i'm gonna go get my passport in the city get it done two thousand years later hi so it's actually like weeks later not gonna lie but i have finally gotten my passport and I have to tell you guys what freaking happened because it was an absolute nightmare. So basically, the next morning after I finished vlogging, I went to the city. The guy at the um, post office place is like, if you go to the one in the city and you go there in the early morning before 11 a.m., you'll be able to get your passport and you won't have to pay the $500 extra for fast shipping because I wanted fast shipping. And I go, yeah, like that sounds really good. So I got up early, I went there and I was looking like a bummy. I, like I just woke up and went there. Like I was not trying to look cute at all. I turn up there and I'm sorting out my passport, blah, 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 blah. And I give the lady my passport photos that I had gotten the day previous. And she goes, your head is too zoomed in in the photo. There's not enough white background. We have to retake it. I'm like, nah, like I literally, like I almost started crying. I'm not gonna lie, I almost started crying like I was instant fuming she's like you look so good right now i literally like i'm not even joking i was not feeling cute even if she thought i look cute which was nice of her to say i was not feeling cute at all so we go to take the photos and she's like keeps taking them she's like can you wipe your head like did you put moisturizer on <laughs> and she made me wipe off my moisturizer because my head was shiny anyways she took the photo she let me pick it uh, but I think she didn't choose the one that I picked, not gonna lie. Like, but it was just nothing in comparison to the other one. And I still had to pay the $500 because apparently that's not a thing. She said, you still have to pay. So I did all that for absolutely nothing. So, moment of truth, my actual, actual passport photo. I showed my friend Amy and she said I look like a cyborg, like those fake robots. I look like a robot. Like I don't look real. And my head's still shiny. At least I have some cool mug shots. But yeah, that's my freaking terrible experience. And earlier in this video, I literally said like, I jinxed myself. I said it's like not gonna work out and it didn't work out. It never works out when you really want it to, you guys. But yeah. at least I got my freaking passport. $500 and a few hours later, a few freaking weeks later. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this chaotic experience. And I will have that photo for 10 years. So I won't have to do this for another 10 years. So I guess I'll see you in 10 years for my next passport photo glow up look. Yeah, but anyways, sure like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at leahalton underscore. And I'll see you guys very soon.